Hello guys, welcome back to another Nova Speakeasy. Uh, I just came back from watching the Batman film, and I'm extremely tired. I watched that film at 12, at 12 at night? 12, it's midnight, it's midnight, and I left out the theater at 3.30, and I'm still digesting what the hell did I just watch. It's one of the best experiences I had, especially it was in Dolby Cinema, so I got like the best seats and the best viewing of it. And I, I say it's pretty good. No, I, I liked it. I really did like it. And I think the visuals were perfect. I think they got the idea of Batman right. And I could tell by the director. Was pretty knowledgeable of Batman. Before I start rambling on about how good this film is, I do want to talk about what makes it a good film. Without getting to any spoilers. This is a spoiler-free review. So I'm going to talk about three components of a film. That's the tone, the setting, and the characters that are in the film. And I think they all build up to why this film is so good. And I'll give my rating at the end, of course, like every video I do. Firstly, I want to start off with the tone. The tone plays out in the movie pretty good. For like a mystery type movie, I think it did pretty good. And that's strange from coming from a Batman movie. Because we usually see a Batman movie as like an action film. Where it's intense, dramatic always doing something you know but in this like such a logical suspense type of movie you feel that chilling disturbing unsettling tone throughout the film and i think that plays it perfectly of this what the story's doing and I, it really felt like a batman comic to be fully honest with you now for the setting of the film i think it plays good alongside the tone of the film as well in a gloomy undisturbed type of place where you get the chills basically and that's Gotham. That's honestly Gotham. It's a shitty place that you, you don't want to be in. But there's so many crook cops, uh, unjust officials, there's bad officials. There's a lot of shit that goes on in Gotham City. And we see that in the film. We feel like it's a bad place like that you don't want to be in. And that's perfect in this type of movie. The main reason why I say that is because we always get these New York type cities or a Chicago type Gotham and this Gotham makes you feel like it's Gotham it's honestly the Gotham from the comics and it feels perfect like that and it should continue being like that uh, I'm going to talk about the characters now uh, I'm only going to talk about two of them the Batman and the Riddler firstly the Batman played by Robert Pattinson I think he did a good job as Batman I, I really think he brought out a new perspective of Batman that we haven't seen from like the Nolan films or the Tim Burton films. He plays more of a detective type of role in this film. And I like it. I, I really do. I think it was perfect for the story of him being more detective than action-y. And you really see it. I like that type of Batman of that storyline and his detective getting me interested even more in the story than you playing a random fight scene for no reason and me maybe losing the movie or me getting more attached to the movie i think it plays that out well the only thing i had to say about robert patterson's batman is that he, i don't see as bruce wayne yet and i think they're trying to do something with bruce wayne in the future but i think they have to show more of bruce wayne because in this film it only shows more of batman of him being batman I think it works perfectly for the story and movie, but I just wanted more Bruce Wayne. Honestly, that's just a personal pick for me. I think they had to show the aspect of, of Bruce Wayne a little bit more. Now for the Riddler. The last time we saw Riddler was Batman Forever, and played by Jim Carrey, and it was interesting for his character. But in this film, he's basically represented by the Zodiac Killer and the killer from the movie Seven. And I think it played really good. I think in this storyline of him being like a serial killer or like terrorist type, it was played perfectly by the actor. And you re really see how he's like the hero of his own story. And I guess the perfect way to do a villain, making him see himself as the hero of his own story, because that's 100% the best villain. And I see that. I see his morals, I see why he wants to do it for his justice, for society, 
but he's just doing it in the wrong way. And I think that connects to Batman as well because Batman's basically doing justice to his own hands because he knows that he could do a better job than the police, maybe. And Riddler thinks he could do the exact same thing as Batman. And I think that plays perfectly to give that small connection between them and that small symbolism for it. I think it's been a long time since we've seen a good Riddler. So I'm giving it all props to the actor because I think this was a perfect incarnation of Riddler. So the film overall, I would rate it a 8.5. I think that's a good enough rating for this film. I think an 8.5 does it justice enough. I think this might be the highest rated Batman film I ever gave. Well, I think The Dark Knight might be higher than this. But I'll debate you, if anything, for that film, to be fully honest. I think that film was pretty good. I, I think they have similarities in, in some aspects. But I think we're going to get more into that for the spoiler uh, review. I'm doing that with Gabe, and hopefully we can put that out soon enough for you guys. Uh, I'm hopefully Ralph and Grim can join us for that one as well. But besides that, this one does pretty good on the Batman name, and it's something that I would say DC really needed because I think they do pretty good independent films in the recent years. I think independent films is the way to go, and I think they have to slowly pick it up with these types of films. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next podcast or one of the next Nova Speakeasies. Also, do not forget to get the Batman Calzone. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, that's all I want to say.